Are you worried that your child hasn't lost any baby teeth yet and the adult teeth are already here? Don't panic, it's, it's quite common and it's sometimes known as shark teeth. Let's talk about why it happens. Hi, my name is Connor. I'm a dentist and I've been a dentist for the last 10 years and I make videos here on YouTube for people who want to learn more about their teeth and how best to look after them. If that sounds like something that you might be interested in, then hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and follow along for more videos. So have you recently looked into your child's mouth and been a bit surprised? You might be able to see some of the adult teeth coming up behind or maybe even in front of the baby teeth and they haven't come out yet. It can start to look like they have two rows of teeth and that's why it's called shark teeth. If you've seen this, then you've probably wondered, should I be worried? What should I do? Do I have to do anything? Is this normal? Let's get into it. So this is something that's called ectopic eruption, which basically just means that the tooth hasn't followed the normal eruption path into the mouth. It's actually quite common and it means that the adult tooth will start to come up behind or in front of the baby tooth and it won't be loose or it won't have fallen out yet. This most often happens with the bottom front teeth, but it can happen anywhere. Think of wisdom teeth in adults. So why does it happen? Normally what happens with an adult tooth is that it will form underneath the baby tooth and as that adult tooth starts to come into the mouth it'll dissolve away the root of the baby tooth that's on top of it and what happens over time is that baby tooth will start to get loose and it'll eventually fall out. What happens in this case is the the place where the tooth starts to form is a little bit off from its ideal position so it might be a little bit behind it might be a little bit forward from where it ideally should be and what happens then is that continues and it'll start to erupt up behind the tooth or maybe even in front of the tooth. So that means that that dissolving process of the root being dissolved just doesn't happen and the tooth will eventually find its own way into the mouth and this will happen without knocking the baby tooth out of place or making it loose. It's actually quite a common condition and we would see it a lot with kids even in general practice. So what happens next? In most cases, this actually will resolve on its own, but generally two things will happen. The baby tooth will get dissolved enough that it's able to fall out or it's able to get really, really loose and it'll wiggle itself out. The other thing that can happen is that if the adult tooth comes up behind it, then the pressure of the tongue pushing that tooth forward will push it into where the baby tooth is and that will start to loosen it and that pressure will eventually push the baby tooth out as well. It's also useful to encourage your child to wiggle at the tooth, help move it and get it out because that'll just make the whole process easier and the, the adult tooth then will start to move into the space where it should be. So when should you see a dentist? If you are worried or anxious about where the location of the tooth is, then that is a valid reason to go and see your dentist. Having that professional opinion will help put your mind at ease. The other scenarios would be if you look in and you see that the gum is very irritated, very inflamed, or perhaps even infected, then that's a time to go and see. Of course, it's natural to assume that when adult teeth are coming up, there's gonna be some level of discomfort, a teething pain. If you suspect that it's, it's more than just a little bit of pain from teething, then you should go and see your dentist as well. The other scenario would be that if the adult tooth has been erupting for about three months and there is absolutely no movement whatsoever in the baby tooth, then that's when you should go and see your dentist as well. So what will happen at the dentist? So the first thing, the dentist will have a look, see where the adult tooth is, see where the baby tooth is in relation to that, make an assessment and make a few recommendations based on that. In most scenarios is going to be, let's leave it alone, let's monitor it and see what happens. And if over time, if the baby tooth starts to get looser, let it get looser. If it's not moving at all, or it's just being stubborn and it doesn't want to come out, then we'll give it a helping hand and we might extract the baby tooth or remove the baby tooth so that the adult tooth has more space for it to erupt into and move into its correct position. Most of the time that treatment is fine to carry out in general practice, um, but obviously with children there can be issues with compliance and behavioural issues and if that is the case then they may need to be referred to a paediatric specialist dentist. Um, and they will be able to take the tooth out for them. Going beyond that, 
then the last option would be a general anesthetic to have the tooth removed but most cases will not make it that far if you find that video useful check out this video because youtube thinks that you might like that one next